Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Doing a reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Going to tap into the energy that surrounds you at this time and see what message Spirit has for you. If you're a cross watcher here for Sagittarius, remember flip switch the roles. Energies do not force any messages. Only take that which resonates to your situation. So I'm going to pull the energy of the person that's connected to you in love. I want to see how they feel about you. I'm going to see how you be, feel about them and what the outcome to the situation will be. Guardian angels, archangel spirit guides, please show me the energy of the person that's connecting to Sagittarius in love and how they feel about Sagittarius. So muse, inspired by you. Someone's, possibly you create music, you're a musician, or someone that loves music, you have music that you've shared together, and this music makes them think of you. Emotional bond, song, song lyrics, and bottom of the deck, twin flames in the reverse. So show me how, and I will clarify this with Tara, okay? So show me how Sagittarius feels about this person that they're connecting with. Spirit. Show me how Sagittarius feels. So faith in the reverse and pain in, in the reverse as well. So this person that's connecting to you did cause you some pain and you've walked away. You no longer are having any expectations for this situation because you're releasing pain. So it's showing me that there was conflict between you, um, possibly deceptive energy. However, the person that's connecting to you thinks of you um, authentically when they hear certain music, probably songs that remind them of the past is what I feel. We've got faith in the reverse, wishing, praying, hoping, but in the reverse and then pain, guarded and apprehensive, putting a wall and excruciating pain, but in the reverse. So I will clarify this to get a little bit more energy. And then what will the outcome be between these two spirits? Show me the outcome between Sag and this person. What will the outcome be? Only you. <sighs> Focused on you, just you, observing you, watching you. There's no one like you. So moving on, the energy of moving on. But then at the bottom of the deck, we have an obsession holding on, clinging, can't let go, and anxiety. So this is a very familiar story for, for the Sagittarius Collective. Someone from the past is still enamored with you, still thinks of you often, um, is clinging to you, not wanting to let go of your energy. This is someone that's been attached to you for a long time. And this is someone that you are trying to release or walk away from. I do feel this person still energetically connecting to you for a reason. Um, and the message here is that this person still thinks of you in an authentic way, all right? So I'm going to clarify this now with tarot, and then we'll just dive a little bit deeper into the situation, okay? I need some coffee, because you are my first morning coffee. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate my collective. Um, guardian angels, archangel spirit guides, please clarify the muse. For the person that's energetically connecting to Sag in regards to love, give me more energy on this Muse card, please. Why is Muse here for the energy of the person that's connecting to Sagittarius? Why is the Muse card here? So I have personals available if you're interested in something specific to your energy. And you can connect with me through DM or through the email provided in this video. So Ace of Cups in the reverse. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. We've got water energy here. Sorry about that. Um, so this is someone that is not offering love at this time. This is someone that you're not connected to in regards to love at this time. But this is someone that has admiration for you. Again, thinks of you through music. I'm not sure if music is a bond. Um, but this is not someone that's offering love at this time or receiving love from you is what I feel because of conflict. Five of Wands energy. Also competition, right? I do feel that this person admires you. Um, but this is someone that likes to compete with you as well. So everything is always a challenge. So unfortunately, within the exchange of energy, it's competitive, right? 
um, someone's very manipulative and playing games all the time. Everything is a game with this person because this person's not capable of operating from an authentic heart space is what I feel, even though they do think of you in a very positive light, right? They do, um, I can't say they have love because Ace of Cups is in the reverse, um, but that is what's clarifying the muse. And then bottom of the deck energy, five of wands, five of wands is Leo energy. Um, this person isn't capable of real true love. And I don't feel that's the journey with you at this time between you and this person. It's not towards a new venture in love. Give me more energy on the muse and the ace of cups and the reverse spirit. Ace of wands in the reverse. So that's Aries, Leo, Sag, right? Fire. There's just no opportunity to uh, rebuild with this person. Th th that's not your path. I don't feel that your path is forward in regards to love with this person or new opportunities with this person. I feel a lot of what's already required through the cycle has already occurred. But just know that this person is inspired by you at times, but is showing me that there is no future exchange of love or passion, okay? Um, and then Seven of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck, King of Swords. So there's clarity in regards to the investment of these things, and I don't feel it's with this person. It possibly could have been in the past, but I don't see that as the future. So I'll be definitely asking why this person is still energetically connecting to you, and there comes the devil. Because there are, there's a lot of fear here. This person that um, is connecting to you operates from a place of fear. It's a very egotistical person, right? With the five of wands showing up at the bottom of the deck. Ace of cups to the ace of wands. And then we've got devil, king of swords, seven of pentacles. I feel this could have been very toxic between you and this person. Okay. And it's about the, this person needs to release their burden. They need to recognize and take accountability for how they treated you within the connection and own the manipulation and the head games that they play because that's what I'm picking up here with Eight of Swords in the reverse to the Devil, Devil's Capricorn energy, King of Swords, that's Libra energy. And then we've got Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles that represents Taurus, right? So I feel this person is attached to you still because they are experiencing their karma and that is necessary because this person did manipulate you a lot, put you in a situation where there was no love or passion. And I feel you had no choice but to walk away from this person. So that's kind of leading me easily into your energy where you're showing me you no longer have faith within this connection. This connection caused you a lot of pain. And you're, you're releasing it. Like you're not trying anymore. You're not manifesting this anymore because it was too much, right? The deception, the head games, the um, competition was exhausting with this person is what I feel. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guys, please show me the energy of Sagittarius and how they feel about this person. Use Sag's energy towards this person, spirit. How do they feel about the person that's energetically still connected to them? Seven of Cups. So you do, you are showing me that this person turned out to not be what you thought they would be. There was a lot of faith in the beginning, right? I feel that you did invest in this person, this connection for a long period of time with faith, right? You put faith in this connection at one point. And like, so the Seven of Cups in this deck is more geared towards like wish fulfillment and, and stuff, but or it's making a choice where you thought this person was going to be your wish fulfillment, but it didn't turn out to be, right? Um, it turned out to be just a karmic or a lesson learned within your cycle. But in the original, <clears throat> excuse me, tarot deck, it's the cups filled with like dragons and uh, treasures and all these different things. So I do feel that this person pulled the wool over your eyes for a period of time. You've seen this person clearly after a period of time. This person was slow to show you what they were truly about. Seven of Cups energy, that represents Scorpio, right? So I do feel at one time you were willing to do the work, 
but because of the interactions the exchange between you and this person you had no choice excuse me <coughs> but to let them go with the faith card in the, uh, in the reverse and then wheel of fortune so your um, energies change now that you've released this person that you're no longer putting your energy towards something that wasn't what you thought it was going to be I feel you've redirected your energy towards your own personal wish fulfillment at this time and I will pull that as we go through here okay um, I will see what this is about but this is beautiful like you are now moving in a new direction towards positivity towards like being um, put in the direction of that which you desire right wheel of fortune's good energy and then support of the divine as well with the chariot it's validating we've got major arcana major arcana and then ace of pentacles i do feel your focus at this time is stability right whether that's financial mentally right but it's about being grounded at this time feeling secure that's important to you and it's coming towards you is what i feel so why is the pain here in the reverse give me more on that death in the reverse scorpio energy so heavy Scorpio, I'm not sure if you're dealing with Scorpio or someone that has Scorpio in their chart, okay? So the pain is being clarified by the death in the reverse. I feel you've released this person, but this person's still energetically connecting to you because it's a part of their cycle. And it was also very much part of yours. There is some resonance here of holding on to probably past wounds, right? The pain, possibly you are still in the process of healing this pain is why the death is showing up in the reverse. So you are energetically both still connected to each other for karma reasons, right? Yours is to elevate and move towards security, stability, because that's what you were showing me. And this person needs to take accountability for their egotistical, manipulative ways. Now, it's much easier <laughs> to heal pain. Well, not necessarily um, than it is to admit that you're an egotistical uh, maniac who lies. And I don't know if that's your person, but I i mean, I've felt this energy of this person m many times because I've been reading for Sag for a long time. So this is playing out right through through the energies and then King of Wands in the reverse. So because this person was so egotistical, it did cause some trauma within you. It did cause a lot of pain within you when you're dealing with an egotistical narcissistic person this person affects you and if you were with this person for a long time which i feel you were i do feel you were in heavy um, commitment with this person that could cause ongoing traumas that you have to heal but your your luck is changing i just want you to know that because look at this we've got the king of wands in the reverse and then the king of wands in the feminine form right so the message to you is to continue continue to nurture yourself right feminine energy is all about self-love bringing it inward so continue to do that to release this um pain that was caused and that's keeping you feeling stuck or possibly uh tethered to this person okay is what i feel shit i was gonna look at the bottom of the deck so the outcome between you is the only you card so spirit please show me why the only you card my alarm just went off right through the video. I love that. So um, the only you card is here for the outcome between you and this person. So let's see. Let's clarify the outcome between Sagittarius and this person. That's connecting to them. So we've got the hangman. So that's Pisces energy. So lots of water here. And then eight of pentacles. Bottom of the deck page of cups. So I do feel that you will move towards new relationships of love. Four of Cups in the reverse is showing me that you are releasing the relationship and you're going to start putting investment of energy of love elsewhere because we do have Three of Cups. Now that could be through your friendship, you know, your friendships, through your family members, the people that you enjoy spending time with. Or there's options here because we do also have three of cups to the empress. So I do feel you will move past this person. You will find new love in a nurturing energy with the empress showing up. The empress is the divine mother, right? It's showing feminine energy. Now, this doesn't mean this is for a female, but you are moving towards someone that is nurturing and loving and that is caring, 
right? And that operates from their heart space. And that's a good person. So like, that's what I feel you're moving towards, but you need to recognize what, where you've been. Queen of Wands in the reverse, that's Leo energy. I do feel that's representing the person that's tethered to you because the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands in the reverse keeps, like there's a lot of ego here from this person. So just know that you are learning how to be loved in a new way after dealing with narcissistic connections for a long period of time. And right now you may feel stuck and not where you want to be because only you hangman energy is where you're not moved. There's not a lot of movement, but then to the eight of pentacles is about it, putting in the work from the place that you're in right now. So you may feel like there's not a lot of movement because there's some, there's lessons being learned in regards to your emotions and feelings. There's healing occurring here. So from it, from this place, of lack of movement, you are becoming enlightened. You are seeing something differently and that is going to allow you to grow and move towards new options of love is what I feel, all right? So I'm gonna see um, what the, I'm gonna see what the future holds for you, Sagittarius, as this is your reading. I am gonna dive into this person that's energetically tethered to you in regards to love. I'm gonna see um, how, what actions they're going to take towards you in the future. So if that's interesting to you, you can follow me in the extended. Um, I am going to pull your future energy. And if this is where we part, I really appreciate you watching. Appreciate my Sagittarius collective very, very much. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please show me the outcome of the situation for Sagittarius. What will the future energy be for Sagittarius in regards to this situation and connection? What is the message? Future energy. Aw, King of Cups. Beautiful. So you're going to go from the Page of Cups to the King of Cups. Page of Cups that represents Pisces. King of Cups is Pisces. So it's all about love, self-love. Uh, learning new ways of being loved because I do feel that you were in a connection with someone that wasn't capable of showing love, Ace of Wands, uh, Ace of Cups in the reverse. You were dealing with someone that was not capable of true love, that wasn't affectionate, that didn't give you um, a lot of attention or time. Moving towards Page of Cups from this place where you're at now, you're moving towards new connections of love with your heart open and learning what it is that you want in love and being able to give, wanting to give and to receive love in a way that is being validated towards the lovers. Beautiful energy. Gemini. I'm just going to leave that right there. Well, no, bottom of the deck. Five of wands. Okay, so five of wands to the emperor in the reverse. So this person is still attached to you. This person, the emperor in the reverse, someone out of control. So the tethered X is going to, ha you will have victory over this person, meaning you will be able to release this person that caused you a lot of uh, manipulation and heartache, right? This person's out of control. This is still attached to you, but continue to move forward and to learn and manifest that what you want because the King of Cups and the Lovers is your outcome. And you also pull the Wheel of Fortune. So I'm very excited to follow you as we um, continue on the path here, Sagittarius, because Continue to invest in self because there's love all around you and you are going to have options in that regard. So I am going to move into the extended dive into your person that's energetically connecting. What are their future intentions? What's coming down the pipe from them? And if this is where we part, beautiful energy. Take care, Sagittarius. Bye.